Hi everyone. Okay, so I was in the middle of writing up a deep dive into the EULA as to why you shouldn't try and get star trees, but the 1.4.1 patch kind of beat me to it. I'll probably release anyway so people have a better understanding, but I want to do a super quick one first. So basically the 1.4.1 update fixes a bug where people could generate trees containing items other than fruit. As a result, many people's trees have changed to bell trees, and you can see this on Twitter. It's kind of kicking up quite a storm. Just want to tell you why you should have expected this. The End User License Agreement. The EULA covers all software on the Switch, and to highlight the points directly involved here, you can't modify the hardware or software in any way, and you can't use additional hardware that modifies the software or, and so on. And you can't obtain content through modified hardware or software. This is worded in a way that implies that you can't do the modifications yourself, and you can't get items from other people that have modified as well. Furthermore, there is another point where Nintendo says any content that has been obtained via modified hardware may be removed from the game. Now Nintendo doesn't exactly have access to the save on your physical Switch, but a patch could run an integrity check and today is the first time that they've proved this. So why is this happening now and not earlier, you say? I suspect it is because of how widespread the hacked trees have become apparent by many players uploading their islands that are in breach of the EOLA to Nintendo's servers. So people have been literally just giving Nintendo the information of these hacked trees. And why is it a problem? Isn't it harmless? Shouldn't we be able to do this? It's not competitive, right? Well, I could talk for a while on this. But the number one reason is that Nintendo cannot provide any quality assurance for these items. The trees will need to call game code that Nintendo have not anticipated your game to actually call just to display the trees. Basically what this means is, who knows what other adverse side effects this may have. Nintendo have covered their butts in the EULA on this by stating the following. After the console is updated or changed, including with limitation in connection with an update, any existing or future unauthorized modification of the console or software or use of an unauthorized device in connection with the console may render the console and or the software permanently unusable. This, of course, is the worst case scenario, but even if Nintendo tried to test hacked items before releasing a patch, they can't guarantee that the hacked items were done in the ways that they know and have tested. So, a worst case scenario is that your entire Switch stops working. Quality assurance. It's actually for your protection. There are other reasons like black market, real market trading and so on, and that hacked items may actually be malicious. So they might be, you know, trying to steal information from your console or something. I suggest you watch the 0 minute, 0 second Pokemon Yellow speedrun to see just how crazy games can go if just a little bit of code goes out of line sometimes. Remember that this is global to all software on the Switch. It doesn't matter if it's online, offline, single player, competitive, or even just a notepad, or whatever.